everybody, welcome to a new unturned video. Today I am bringing you a update video for 3.12.2.0. And this was an insanely huge update. Like, insanely, insanely huge. And this update consisted of some of the items that were in unturned 2.0 that we now have in Unturned 3.0 and I've got it pulled up, oh geez I've got it pulled up right here of all the long list of stuff he, or Nelson added so the first thing he added was a new gun called the Saber 2 Saber 2, basically what it is um, it supports grip it basically supports all attachments and it's like a marksman's rifle so yeah I'm gonna test it out on some zombies over here I'm pretty sure it's oh it's a it takes like military suppressors oh I don't actually know the ID for scope, so we're just gonna go over here and test it out. So yeah, it's like it's like a kind of quick fire. It's not like a bolt action or anything. I'm gonna see what a headshot does because I, I aim for that guy's body. So it's a one hit kill to the civilian zombies on a headshot. The model is pretty cool, and I think this is one of the guns from American Sniper. Okay, so next thing he added was a was also a new gun called the Avenger. This thing, it's this thing, it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. That model though is just amazing. Also, one tweak he made is that these the sites for Cobra, Desert Eagle, and I think the Avenger 2 all glow at night. I think that's pretty cool. Takes military suppressors. I'm gonna go uh, test it out. Oh, one hit kill. So yeah, looks really cool. And next thing, just trying to get through this, uh, he also added the police baton weapon, and it's different from how it was in Unturned 2.0, it's not the ridiculous version that it was, um, looks kind of cool how you hold it, um, and just another weapon we had from Unturned 2.0 that's now in 3.0, pretty cool, I gotta remind Lucian to add that to his map. Next is, uh, oh, the Peacemaker. Basically, um, Unturned 2.0, there was the P90, or Pro 90, which is a model of the P90 gun. And now they've added the Peacemaker into 3.0. That's what this baby is. Looks pretty cool. I like how they didn't put the... Um, grip attachment on it because an unturned 3.0 if they put the grip attachment it would be like ridiculous oh my gosh oh yeah they added this as a melee weapon it's a paddle pretty cool oh no do I not okay that's good so yeah pro 90 or P90, whatever you want to call it. Pretty loud. High rate of fire. Oh, and they added the shovel. I'm gonna die. They added the shovel as a melee weapon. I don't know if you can dig with it. No, you can't dig with it. Very weak melee weapon. Very weak. Um... Yeah, so that's the shovel. One, zero, two, 
Oh, it's the mountain. Oh, the new assault rifle was added, or either assault rifle or like carbine. I don't know what it is, but it's called the Viper. Military supports all attachments. It's like a MP5K. Uh, I don't know. Um, kind of. Yeah, it's an okay rate of fire, I guess. But oh, um, all I not all of them, but the Pro 90 and the Viper can be held in a secondary slot. Okay, so let's. That means I want. What kind of did? Hold on. Oh, that's the iron sight. Hold on. Let's see a shovel. Sorry. Hold on. Oh, crowbar. Crowbar was added. Um, it's just a melee weapon. I don't know if you can actually craft anything with it. No, you cannot craft anything with it. Just another melee weapon from from one turn three point oh. At all. Oh, they added a pitchfork as a melee weapon. I actually want to test this out on a zombie. Have some like Frankenstein Rebellion stuff going on here. Not not rebellion. What am I thinking? Um. Come here, zombies. Yeah. 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 Ah, uh, boom. 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 Pew. Oh, jeez. The pop. Pew. Pew. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um. Oh, new pistol. The what's it called? Krizakarak. Um, just another pistol. Uh, I don't know. Hold on. It's a civilian pistol, and uh, kind of looks like an officer's pistol. Yeah, pretty cool. Don't have any more zombies to sit out on. Is that anything else? Hold on. What am I adding? Or what am I forgetting? Oh! They added the machete from Unturns 2.0. I think that's really cool. Hold on, I'm gonna. What does a power hit look like? Oh, it's just like a wider stroke. Okay. This next one I'm really excited about. The katana. So many people use this in Unturned 2.0. And this thing was like the best weapon in the game. And I can see this easily becoming... It's not the one hit like it was in 2.0, but... Here, come at me. Power hit, pretty powerful. If you had a, like Japanese armor, that would be pretty cool. Right. Oh no, that's probably a bad idea. But I don't. So it's one zero four nine. That's the ID for the next thing. Okay, I'll just I'll just click on the news page. Machete Katana Heartbreaker. Um 
Okay, so. Heartbreaker. Oh my gosh. Zero percent. Heartbreaker. It's the Scar H. A very essential rifle for our turn. And a very powerful one, too. This thing. I can imagine so much possibility. Its auto fire isn't that fast, and I like that. So it's not insanely fast like the Pro 90 to where it gets to an uncontrollable burst fire, and it's just so incredibly stupid to have because you can't do and you can't do anything with it. Two new vehicles were added. Um, I think their IDs are 75. Yep, it's a golf cart. Another recreational vehicle, <clears throat> like the quad and snowmobile. Oh my gosh, this, this I, I can just, the possibilities with this are endless. Endless. This thing's probably like, fit in on another map, but not PEI. Um, I don't know if golf carts, here, hold on, let me, let me see. Yes, they come in all- oh no, they just come away. But they did add the taxi. Same as the sedan, except I think it's a little bit faster, which is essential when you're a taxi man. But yeah, added a taxi, pretty cool. You can start having like taxi- you can start doing like taxis on like servers. That'd be- that'd be pretty amazing. If anyone- if, if you actually get get them to comply with you. Um, also, they added a player counter button up here at the top, so you know how many players are when you're in-game. What? Um, okay, hold on. Um, hold on, wait. I can inspect, um, like a melee weapon, and I think that's just amazing, watch. Like, does that not look amazing? When I want to see it for, oh no, just attachment, so it's, so if I took this, put the tactical light on it, oh yeah, that's cool, wait, could I do it without the light, oh yeah, that's amazing, that's like, I don't, have... oh, and I can watch it in, in the point. That's like amazing. That's pretty cool. Um, support for animation named inspect on any item. Official wallpaper background in your unturned folders. Um, is there anything else? Uh, Fixed material on the on the barrack or maple fortification. I know that was a problem for me. Horde label text. Um, except ranger suppressor. Oh, so the snapper snap snap skirt. I uh, whatever is now not only the is not the only sniper rifle that can be silenced. Um. Okay, so that's all I can show you in game, right? Peacemaker. I think. Oh no! Wait, no, we did the Avenger. Oh! Did we do that? Mm -hmm. No. One more essential item in Unturned that was in 3.0 but has to be in 2.0 the frying pan. I wanna go test this thing's damage out. What does it say? Cooking implement also uses weapon by cavalry. This thing is so insanely weak. It's like the the most least durablest weapon. Every hit I think on either a car or a zombie is one less percentage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So yeah, it's just really weak. Like, it's not a weapon you would want to use. I want to see what the inspect for it is. That is pretty legit. Hold on. Wait, no. I want to see what it would be like for, like, a different thing. Um, they added a return button for the, for the menu. Exit button. Uh, when you go to inventory, there is now a scroll bar. There wasn't that before. And then there's a refresh button. Um, when you click on a item, it will now show equip instead of showing, like, uh, uh, where. And mystery box, it said, hold on, it said something about mystery boxes, I'm not sure. Um, fixed key slash unbox button colors. Okay. Uh, that's pretty cool. Anything else? Oh, yeah, um, he added this new, like, little GUI or HUD for this, so it's got all these categories down here, and then you can join a server that your friends have joined. I still just really want the easy server hosting button back. I'm wishing for it. No new maps got added, but he did say, um, in uh, up here, he did say, um, right, next up, I would like to create a map sets or some. <coughs> Sorry, somewhere in the USA for the opposite side of the playstyle spectrum, which I have much stronger military presence. Racetracks. Those two maps, PEI, can then be balanced somewhere between the extremes. More hardcore mechanics can be added to Yukon, new weapons to the USA. I think it would be cool if he made a map. Like, if you made, um, like, a bigger map size. And for gold, he's considering what he should be doing for, like, weapons. Um, what weapons can be implemented in, as gold. Like, if you have, like, gold, like, uh, coloring on a timber wolf, or if you have, like, accents on a barrel. And, uh... And that's all I gotta show you guys. Pretty big update today. Um, that's all I wanted to show you. Go check out the news for yourself. I'll put a description or a link in the description below. And I'll see you guys all later.